All right, so it's interesting, we just learned, to put lenses or optical elements at planes that are conjugate to the object and image. Uh, and those are definitely typically referred to as, in this case, was field flatteners. In general, they're field lenses because they're they're in the field. They're at, they're conjugate to the field, the object and the image. Now, immediate worry about putting a lens at a point conjugate to the object and image is if there is a speck of dust or a scratch on that lens, you're going to see it in your image because it's in focus. A piece of dust or a scratch on a lens that's far out of focus relative to the image has some scatter properties and you know it's, it's generally not a good thing, but you can stand quite a lot of crud on this lens and not really notice it over here in the image. But if you put an optic in focus, you notice it immediately. So there's a cleanliness problem here, but okay, let's deal with that. What this shows is a field lens, a lens that's placed at a focal plane doesn't change the first order imaging properties, the linear imaging properties that we learned in the first part of the class at all. It doesn't change the magnification, it doesn't change focal lengths, it doesn't change any of those properties. Um, because it's in the it's a phase function and it's it's in conjugate to the object. So all it does is bends the rays, but it, it doesn't move them around. And if you just bend these rays, this point source is still that point source. But what it does do once the objects are of finite size is it can dramatically change how those rays are clipped or vignetted uh, through the optic. So a really good example of this is binoculars. That they need to be an imaging system that's pretty constrained. They're, they're going to be much more profitable and much more uh, usable uh, by the user if the tube is small. But you can see this is an example of where the tube may need to get big. Well, if I put an intermediate image plane there, I can use a field lens to get this bundle of rays tilted back towards the next lens in the system and dramatically change the vignetting and reduce the size of the lenses that I need. So field lenses are, are a trick to particularly remember when you're trying to get the system small or the inverse of that, when you have a fixed diameter and the rays are getting out of the system quite a bit. A field lens can help you, but you gotta keep it clean inside the fixed tube of a set of, sealed tube of a set of binoculars is an example of a place you might be able to use it.